Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at Deep Green Permaculture, and they have a nice page on wicking bed construction, also known as uh, subterranean hydroponics, sub-irrigation. There's a bunch of different names for it. They got a decent diagram down here, but a lot of information. I'm, I'm saying a lot of information, pretty good stuff here. And this is a good diagram of using a raised garden bed with a pond liner, with some soil, you know, some sort of geotextile or fabric cloth, and coarse scoria, or pretty much lava rock, clean gravel. Clean gravel is the key word there. You don't want to get too much sand in there. Um, but uh, they have a couple different ideas there. Basically, the geotextile and fabric is going to allow some roots to poke through and some seepage to come through. And it looks like a pretty good system. I believe sub-irrigation is great because it prevents the large amount of water loss through evaporation that you would have from overhead irrigation, sprinklers and whatnot. Drip irrigation is nice too, but it can still have a lot of moisture on the surface of the soil, which can lead to some mold growth, not really a lot, but it could be an a issue. And, but you will get some evaporation as well. So sub-irrigation is a decent system for small to medium scale farming. Large scale, you have to dig trenches and put in clay tiles. And, uh, well, the ancient Romans and Greeks, I believe, used to do tile farming like that. Well, that's it for this story. You can read this page, very helpful page, at the uh, link in the description below. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.